yourself this. Would you believe a 15-year-old kid was working for the federal government? But he was. Let's start with uh, how you got involved with the true story of White Boy Rick. Yes. I, I was sent a spec script um, and I found the, story, the scenes with... Uh, the story is extraordinary about him being an informant for the FBI and, uh, you know, sort of corrupted by them and, and dangling, using him in order to, for him to save his father. But the thing that really resonated with me was the relationship between the father and son. And it's, it, 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 it struck a chord with me personally. And I was like, okay, maybe I could tell this story, but if we could make it about a family. Uh, so I went to visit him in jail, the real Rick, and I asked him about his family. I asked him about the relationship with his dad. I asked him about his sister. Um, and we talked for hours. And um, I think the first time I met him, we talked for four hours solid, all about his family. And he was surprised for the first time in 20, 27 years he, he was in at that point. Yeah, for the first time in 27 years, someone was asking about his family. Everyone always wants to ask about the drug dealer facts and, and uh, the FBI story. But once I, you know, really spent those four hours with him, I was like, I want to tell this, I want to tell this story. I could see a movie that I connected with in a personal level. Go! Get back. Get off of me! Get back in the house, Don. Go in the house and get dressed. No! Get Dad! inside the house. Dad! Stop. Wait. No, no. Ah, oh, Christ. Keep going. I got it under control. You don't need to stop the car, Pop. Everything's fine. Don't get out of the car. Everything is not fine. A man just ran out of your house, almost dense my Imperial. You don't have a goddamn thing I under control. You, you not gonna let her talk to you? I'm going to the goddamn yeah. house. Oh, I got this Christ. under control, all right? It ain't under control. Hey, stay out of it. Looks like Richard's having a bad day. No, Ma, I'm not having a bad day. My son and I walked into the lion's den this morning and walked out with the golden fleece. Ain't that right, Ricky? That's right. That's right. You're pathetic! Both of you! Hey, put some clothes on, will ya? We're going for custard! Did the other cast members end up doing as much research as you did? Like, did the young lad who played the lead, did he have a chance to meet the real Rick? Yeah, he spoke to the real Rick. He couldn't meet him because he's the, the kid that played the lead is 15 and, he, and, and the minor's not allowed to go and visit in that, in that prison. Uh, but he did, he did speak to Rick on the phone a lot. Uh, Rick loved the kid, couldn't believe, it blew his mind that we'd cast a kid from the streets that, was, that had a similar background to his own. You know, this kid really knows what poverty looks like in America. You know, he lives in Baltimore and he's, he's had a hard life. You know, when I met him, he was 15. He was 15 and it was crazy what he'd experienced by the time he was 15. He shared that aspect with Rick where he hadn't really had a chance to have a childhood. You know, they have to grow up fast in these, in these sort of environments. It's Ricky! He won! You're gonna get in too deep. No, I'm never gonna let you out. You talk, I'll know. I'm curious, is there something that resonates now and today where we have maybe 90% of the prison population comes from, you know, the lower class uh, and, and your story says that they are literally put there. They are taken advantage of and put there. I think if you are, look, if you are poor, uh, you're on the other side of the line, you're not really given a voice. And uh, that is a universality in that, you know. Um, and, and they're kind of lied to, to a certain extent. If you do the right thing and you, get, you keep your head down this time next year, you can, the American dream, or you can prosper even in the UK and Europe, we all have the same, you know, the, the poor sometimes mugged off with the same lie. And, uh, and the game, it, it does feel a bit rigged. And, um, and, and yeah, you're right. You know, that's something that really spoke to me and makes me upset. And it's one of the reasons I leaned into it. Well, it's something that, that I particularly pulled out of this film was that this is, this is a story about a young man who was not given, given a good uh, hand of cards anyway, but then was taken advantage of the power by the powers that be and ended up doing life for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was a very interesting Well said, piece. you're saying it better than I've been doing. <laughs> That's okay. I might write that down.